Welcome to this week's sneak peek of the week. What am I getting up to in this vlog? Hey y'all, happy Friday. I made the mistake of starting the dishwasher, so sorry if it's loud in the background, but welcome to this week's vlog or weekend's vlog. I have been sick the past couple of days, have not been feeling my best, so I need to do some errands, run some groceries run some groceries okay a question i have been asking myself am i running errands or are the errands running me you know i think they're running me and it's hard being a person if you're alive today you deserve a treat and whether that treat is you taking a nap or you coloring a book in your coloring page coloring a page out of your coloring book or buying yourself a treat getting yourself something or doing something for yourself doesn't have to cost money so you know, I know I'm trying to, well, I'm not currently balling on a budget. I need to be balling on a budget. So, and I say that as I need to go grocery shopping and I'm going to go spend money. And then my dad's coming out because it's his birthday tomorrow and we're going to go thrifting and things. And I think I'll let him, I need to, I need to buy things tomorrow because tomorrow is his actual date of birth. So maybe he can buy things today and I can buy things tomorrow. I'll figure it out. Everything's going to be okay. But let me show you the OOTD. All right, so OOTD is skirt from Target, tube top from Target. This is Zaffle, but it's thrifted. And then I have thrifted Air Force Ones, bow socks from Old Navy. I mean, I have a little Walmart like pur purple shorts on. And then I put little bows in my hair. I got some ribbon at a thrift store recently and I like to make little bows i think i'm gonna try to go to a store today that has a bunch of like ribbon by the yard and buy a bunch of different colors of ribbon sebastian quiet i got him a collar with a bell and it is loud but this is the little kind of monochromatic not really i don't know why i said that this is many different colors i was gonna do blue makeup but i did blue makeup recently and i didn't want to so i did so it's a purpley pinkish sparkly situation but Hi, welcome to the video. Let's go to the grocery store. All right, so I did go for some coconut syrup and some peppermint syrup I needed to re-up on this trip to the grocery. I really enjoyed the coconut mocha that I had in Vegas, so I have been thinking about it, and I have recreated it a couple times since buying the stuff. Then I went over to the library to drop off some books. And my right thumb comes back to normal. Oh, I wonder if it'll... I lost this ring the other day. I don't know how I lost it. I don't know where it went. And if I find it, I'll have two. But it just, it was wrong to not have one. It was also so tarnished. I bought it probably three or four years ago. So I don't feel bad that I needed to get a new one. It was like $27 after tax. If the last one lasts me three years, that's like 10 bucks a year, which is less than a dollar a month. I'm not, I can't let the math math me. This is girl math. Ugh, hot girl math, actually. Oh, um, so now I need to go to the grocery outlet and see what deals they're dealing. And then I need to go to Fred Meyer and then I don't know how far away my dad is. But I don't need to be stressed out. And I have a beef jerky snack in the car that I might snack on. This week's portion of the grocery outlet bargain market haul. I also stopped by Daiso. I'm obsessed with these little orange sodas. They are so good especially when you put strawberry infused gin and frozen strawberry pieces in yummy yummy delicioso then i went to the fred meyer because i wanted to do a little grocery shopping okay so i have made it to the hotel that dad is staying in they have coffee to like get the front desk situation i saw some i was like i need some i, I don't know why i'm just so tired oh and i used hazelnut creamer my fave Problematic opinion. Not problematic, but unpopular opinion. Well, I know. You either love it or you hate it. It's kind of, I feel like that's really one of the things that you either really love or you really hate. Peppermint, or not peppermint. Well, also that, but hazelnut creamer, and I am a lover. And then we were off to the races. If there's one thing my dad and I love to do, the time that we like to spend together, thrift shopping. Looking through thrift shops, ship shopping, shippity, ship, lol. Uh, we love 
going to the store. I He is much more of a garage sailor than I am. I don't quite have the patience for garage sales. And I think thrift shopping is like more curated garage sale. I don't know. I love thrifting. I think it's fun to look at fun things. And I definitely, it's the jeans that I got from my father. I also got my spidey senses from him. He has great luck. I have great luck. And then we made our way to do some damage at the Value Village. This is me. I am blue matching this saxophone playing Eminem. My dad was like, we can buy that for you. I was like, sir, I do not need this. Also, this bag was so cute, but it was attached to two others and they were selling them for $8. And I was like, I'm not paying $8 for three bags, but I only think one is cute. It made me upset. Um, it was fine. Everything is okay. And then my dad, he, the pile of CDs that this man, he looked through every single CD on the rack and then looked through the pile. I mean, good for him. He wants to make sure he's buying quality stuff. And then we went and got dinner, but the dinner place was not quite ready yet. So we walked around, looked at the building, and then I just did some appies for dinner. Oh, and then this beautiful piece of art is the tie collection that I have for the tie skirt that I want to make slash please help me make mom this summer. Hey team, it is midnight, technically Saturday, 420, dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad! I am going to, well, I have a little um, ice cream that I'm going to eat. Yummy. And then I need to pass out, go to bed. So I need to wash, make up, brush teeth, floss, etc. So I have, I have, I'm going to watch a little YouTube mini of my ice cream. going to go to bed. Then be up way too early tomorrow morning. Everything's okay. Good night, y'all. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is April 20th, my dad's birthday. I am in, what is this, the elevator for the hotel, going up to his room. I should have, there was someone at the coffee station, but I need to grab coffee. We also need to get food. I'm only 15 minutes late, maybe 20, but that's okay. I love being alive. Happy Saturday. Let's get it. Oh, we're going to the tulips today. We're going to Anna Quarters. We're doing a lot of thrifting. I'm very excited. You want to say that again? I'm rallying my 59, baby. Rallying my 59, baby. We're getting some bagels. We, I, are we going to take them to go or do you want to sit and eat? Um, whatever Just kidding. feels good. No, what's e whatever's easier for you as the driver because I'm sitting passenger princess on the way down because I have to do my makeup. Dad ended up getting the farmer's breakfast and I got an everything bagel toasted with like dill, feta, garlic cream cheese. And I did not know the garlic cream cheese also had dill and feta. And so at first I was like, they gasp and then it was it was so delicious so I have no regrets and I'm sorry if I was a hater at first I'm no longer and then we went down to look at the tulips and we saw a pickle barn farm situation on the way down and we never so we would always go to the tulip festival growing up and we would rarely stop at like the little side attractions when we were going down just because it always you know you got two small kids in the car me being one of the small kids back in the day I, you, you don't, you don't make stops on the side of the road. It would take forever for us to get anywhere. So it was nice to be able to stop and to like indulge my dad in the little pickle barn farm in the other shops that you'll see us go into. We got some pies for the birthday boys, birthday feast. Should I do my hair like this again? A little side part action. Oh no, it's, the hair is really hairing today. I did wash it. I'm waiting for, I got a dirty chai. Oh, I'm really excited for it. I need more caffeine and I need to give my dad a water. I kind of forgot, but we're at a different little farm stand. I'm excited. Across the street from those pies was a different shop that was also selling the pies and a lot of other glorious things. Here's the strawberry swag they had. It's a gorgeous watermelon pillow. I do not need another mirror and I know I don't, but I did need to take some pics in this one. Very cute. I did end up purchasing this little ceramic glass purse. I probably won't use it as a purse because I would be afraid to break it, but it was just so cutie in this little stand. We, I ended, yeah, I ended up getting that and also a little magnet from my birth year from the tulips. And then dad had his eyes on the birdhouses. Spoiler alert, we will get a birdhouse today. And then, and then we went to the tulip festival, which is a family tradition to do yearly. My dad did it when he was growing up. We did it growing up as a kid. My grandma would fly in from Hawaii and it's just, it's a really special tradition. This year though, and years past, this cannot be the first year it's happening. There is a, there was a march for solidarity with the tulip workers because they are fighting for better rights. They don't have great access to restrooms on the field. They're not getting paid correct wages. So 
I wanted to bring some attention to the Marcha the Marcha Campesina that they did in 2024. I did buy a t-shirt in solidarity because I could not go to the march, but please take this part of the video to know that not all of the tulip farms are treating their workers well. So they didn't ask, they specifically didn't ask to picket or boycott because they want their work to be seen, but they want people to know what's going on. So wanted to spread a little bit of what we got going on. I have the video of me in Hawaii, like grabbing my mom's trash. So I <laughs> took my dad's trash a little more aggressive than I did my mom. Sorry, dad. But I just thought it was funny, me carrying a little trash. And then we picked up some tulips. My dad got some bulbs to put in the ground. And then we did go back to shoe farms to get him the birdhouse. We are going to dad's diner. Dad's diner to get some dinner because I. In Anticortes. In Annie Cortes. No, I'm just kidding. That's not how you say it. <laughs> um, I We had a bagel for breakfast. Yep. And then we had some bites of some food. I'm unwell oh and we have the ice cream bar i need food real bad me too so glad we're going to get food 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 <laughs> the fields were very dusty so we had to get the eye drops and then in the safeway parking lot we looked up food spots and dad chose dad's diner for his birthday dinner so i had the smash burger it had some cheese this is dad's brisket he wanted just a side of brisket it was so good Here's me doing a little taste test and then dad let me take home the leftovers. I ate pretty good after this trip because I had some severe leftovers in the fridge. So much so that Nick was like, hey, can you please eat your leftovers? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Sorry. <laughs> um, but we were eating good. And then after we ate good, we managed to find the record shop, the only shop that was open in downtown Anacortes after 6 p.m. on a Saturday, LOL. And my dad spent the last, for like 15 minutes, the shop was open, just looking at everything, having a great chat with the owner. These bundles were like, pay what you want because they were secondhand. We cleaned up shop. Yeah. I think dad got 17 records. <laughs> no, it was 15. And two CDs. Records. And I got a record, but I only wanted the case. So dad's taking the record home and I get the sleeve. Someone wanted to go to the casino for his birthday. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, it was not the longest trip to the casino we've ever had, but, well, well, actually, like, the second. We've only ever done casinos in Vegas. It was fun. He wanted to use some birthday magic. All We're good. done at the casino, back at Dad's hotel, birthday pies, in check, gonna go celebrate some birthday. <laughs> good. Good morning, team. Happy Sunday. It is about... Was it like 10.45? My dad and I are getting breakfast at Nelson's. It's like a market slash breakfasty little place. Delicious. I'm really stressed about work, but I know everything's going to be okay. I literally can't stop crying today. I tried to film earlier to be like, hi, welcome to the vlog. I literally cried when I started. I don't know what's just like emotions, etc. I don't know. Being alive is hard, but I'm getting our sunglasses because we're sitting outside at the restaurant and it's super mega sunny, which is nice, but like, I can't see. I'm pretty sure my sunglasses are in here. Yes, they are. Okay. No, they're in my top thing. We're good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hopefully stop crying. And then today at work, I need to do a lot of editing and I need to make my bed and I need to clean my room and I haven't meal prepped it all this week, but I did buy groceries on Friday. <sighs> my sister used to live on Iron Street, so Nelson's has kind of become a staple for our family whenever they come into town. And my dad, I like, he kind of mentioned it and I was like, dad, we can go to Nelson's. And he was like, oh, thank God. They make such good food. Like we needed to go. I was sad. I was, I was worried you wouldn't want to go. And I was like, dude, I am always down for their chicken and waffles. They are so delicious. The chicken has so much flavor. The waffles are good. Dad got real maple syrup and I got fake. And he was like upset that I didn't want the fake, the real stuff, but I was happy with the fake. You see these smiles? Do you see these happy dances? Mm. Hey team, I did not realize I didn't end the vlog, so thanks for coming with this weekend. Everyone say happy birthday Papa Newkirk in the comments, and I will see you all next Monday for the next vlog. Thanks for coming with.